Hi YouTube, Alan here. Welcome to the fourth video in the series of building my 2015 Sun Hokey Prusa i3 3D printer. In this video, I will be completing the final mechanical assembly of the 3D printer. This includes installing the X, Y, and Z axes. As always, to jump to a specific part of the build video, click on the links on the screen. If you like this video, have a comment, or have a suggestion, please leave a message in the comments below. For more build videos and my future 3D printing adventures, subscribe to my channel. Now let's get started. For this part of the build, we'll be assembling the Y axis. For this, we'll need the previously assembled 3D printer frame, the previously assembled Y axis carriage, the Y axis idler, the long threaded rods, the medium smooth rods, four acrylic parts, 12 T8 nuts, and 12 T8 washers. So we want to move a T8 nut approximately halfway down the threaded rods. And in, in it, we will put two T8 washers, and another T8 nut. And on the end, we'll put one more T8 nut, about that far down. We'll repeat this process for the second T8 rod. So the T8 threaded rods go through the bottom mounting holes on the rear end plate. We'll need another washer. That was one sandwich, the, the acrylic between the two nuts and a washer. So this length here should be enough for one acrylic piece, one washer, and just enough for one T8 nut. And do the same on the other side. You want to approximate the same amount of showing threaded rod on each side. Now we'll move to the front. Here we want one nut and one washer. The idler will then go on the front. Now before we can put the acrylic parts on here, we'll have to feed through the linear guide rails. We will also need the y-axis carriage. So we'll need to thread the rod through the front end, through each of the bearings very, very gently, and into the back plate. I grabbed the wrong rod. So this one is too long, that is the x-axis rod. So then we put on the front acrylic, the washer, and the nut. This seems to move quite freely, so I will lock down the positions of the sliders. There. And that completes this part of the build. 
we will now assemble the Z and X axes. For this, we will need the assemble printer, the previously assembled uh, components, four M3 by 16 millimeter screws, four M3 by 25 millimeter screws, eight M3 nuts, and four acrylic parts, as well as all linear rods and the T8 lead screws. So let's get started. We'll take the two short linear rods and place them in each of the holes on each side. We will then take the Z the X axis idler and feed it on top of the linear rod. It can just rest at the bottom. We'll then take one acrylic piece and mount it on top, securing the rod and the idler. This is attached using two M3 by 16 millimeter screws and associated nuts. And then we will place the X axis motor on the other side and do the same thing. To secure the ends of the rods, these small acrylic pieces are placed on top with two T or M3 by 25 millimeter screws fed through each side, and then M3 nuts fed on the rod. Be very careful on how tight and how tight you make these, as a, the acrylic is subjected to a bending force and will easily crack. Next, we will attach the T8 lead screws. These are just fed through the lead screw nut into the coupler. Then we'll start tighten up the set screws. To securely grip onto the lead screw. There, now those are secure. To attach the X carriage, we will need the two long the longest two linear rails. These will be fed through each side of the idler and in the middle of the X carriage. To do this, we will need to remove this stopper plate on the left hand side. With the stopper plate removed, the linear rods can be fed through each hole, the two holes here, and then the X carriage, and then on to the other side. Once the rods are fed all the way through, the end plate can be reattached. Now 
I loosen up the top of the X carriage to make sure that they all line up smoothly. I'm just gonna tighten that a little bit right now. With this, we've almost completed the mechanical assembly of the printer. In this part, I will be attaching the X and Y axis belts. Here we have the rear of the X axis carriage. To start attaching the belt, we'll take one zip tie and just start it off, make things a little easier. And then we'll attach it, we'll place it on to the belt. We'll place the belt through the little hole in the carriage. What we want here is for the teeth of the belt to re-engage themselves, creating a very secure attachment. I'm just going to leave the tail on the zip tie for now, but I will snip it off in the future. This is then, this the end of the belt is then fed to the x-axis motor. And we'll go around the motor and back out through. This belt then goes through the space in the x-axis carriage to the x-axis idler, where it's fed through and around the idler Once it's around the idler, it goes back out towards the X carriage. Remember to keep the X axis idler loose to be able to add tension later. At this point, we want to measure off a little bit extra belt before cutting it. The remainder of the belt will be used for the Y axis. So that should be about good there. Then repeat the process as earlier with the zip ties. You can leave a little extra belt here just make sure that it doesn't bind on either the idler or the motor. So we'll tighten it up a little bit, the idler tensioner. There, that seems pretty good. We will now attach the Y-axis belt. Remember, this piece can be very fragile, so be careful when trying to put in these, this belt. Don't force the, the belt in. If it doesn't want to go, don't force it. So just slide in there so it engages the teeth as you can see here. And then move up. And then this belt goes around the Y idler. And then back down to the Y motor and around the pulley. For this, we have to trim the belt to the right length so that it engages all the teeth, but not extra. So I'll just measure it. Remember, a little bit of slack here is okay, as the tensioner can take up the rest. back 
through. Remember, once again, do not force the belt into the plastic part, but guide it in, and if it doesn't want to go, do not force it, because you will break the plastic part. If you do break the plastic part, uh, Hybosin had a very good solution to this, and I'll link his video below. Belts in, add a little bit of tension, and there we go. Hi guys! So I just finished uh, building off all the mechanical aspects. I just put the belts on and everything like that. So I'm really excited. It's looking like a 3D printer now. The only thing I have left to do is the heated bed, the Z-axis end stop, and all the wiring. Uh, so stay tuned uh, for the wiring video to come pretty soon. I'm excited. I hope you know that I'm excited. Good night, because it's really late. Any questions or comments, leave them down below. I mean, it's YouTube, you know what to do. See you soon.